Bangladesh is one of the most vulnerable countries in the world to climate impacts. Its giant network of rivers and vast low-lying floodplains not only make it productive, but also expose to the risk of flood, drought and storms. Climate change presents even more challenges for this water-rich country. This is especially true in the coastal south, where the river delta opens into the Bay of Bengal. Here, rising sea levels can submerge communities and farmland. The number and severity of storms and deadly cyclones is also on the rise. During such storms, waves in the coastal region can reach as high as 9 metres, causing widespread erosion, destruction of homes and losses of livestock, land and fishing equipment. The protection from natural vegetation can make a difference between life and death. Mangrove vegetation in particular provides physical protection and also prevents erosion and can even reverse its effects. UNDP is working with the government of Bangladesh and communities to reduce vulnerability to climate change in four vulnerable sites in the southern delta. In these communities, UNDP will work with the forestry department to plant mangroves interspersed with timber species, fruit trees and even fishery plots to increase the livelihood options along the highly exposed coastlines which surround them. Training in nursery and forest management combined with a cash for work program means that by December 2010 over 5,000 families will have benefited from the project. At Chor Kukri Mukri and one of the project sites, Mohamed Firoz has been receiving training in nursery management. Before there were no trees for which we had to suffer a lot. Then we got training from the forest department how to plant the trees and care them. Since now the trees are there we can take shelter under them during the floods. These trees also keep the people together. Before, it was very difficult to keep the people in one place. During the storms, when I used to go out for fishing, I would always take shelter under these trees. These trees also help to trap the sediment, which gives us an opportunity to have more farming land. Every year, millions of tons of sediment are washed through the delta's murky web of rivers, moved along by water from the melting of Himalaya ice and the seasonal monsoon rain. This sediment is one of the few natural lifelines the people of Bangladesh can harness to protect themselves against the impacts of climate change. Mangroves have the ability to trap this sediment in their intricate root structures. The project is testing a range of species and planting approaches to determine which combinations trap the largest amount of sediment thus reversing the effects of erosion. And some species are expected to trap sediment at such a high rate that they can potentially reverse the effects of sea level rise. Bangladesh is just one of many countries grappling with the effects of sea level rise and the increased impacts of storms caused by climate change. So many countries are recognizing the, the value of, of coastal green belts when it comes to protection against uh, storm surges, swell waves, inundations. It's very important, I think, to pick the right, the, the right varieties, the right species, and also to involve the communities in the plantation and the maintenance and the management of the plantations. So I think those are two things that this project is, is providing that is very valuable to other countries such as India, uh, Philippines, Indonesia, that, that also have Greenbelt projects and grapple with the same problems. Meanwhile, for Bangladesh, this coastal afforestation project will be bringing the country closer to a future where land, livelihoods and people are more prepared and protected from climate change.